Hello and welcome to my thoughts on last night's Big Brother UK 2023. Now I know from personal experience that Olivia likes to brag that she knows very, very important people. I didn't realise that she was related to the Big Brother producers. It seems like every episode they're finding a way to manipulate her a perk. The truth is Olivia should have been evicted this Friday. And if she wasn't immune from nomination for eviction, she would be. Basically, the Big Brother producers and Olivia cheated Farida of her place because if Olivia's up last Friday, she's gone. I'm just wondering, how are they gonna manipulate her immunity again? Do we all remember Helen Wood winning Channel 5's Big Brother they literally made, made her immune for the entire series. Why? Because they knew she was contra controversial, confrontational, and she wasn't going to last five minutes under the guise of the public vote. Right? They knew that. So they made her immune. They cheated. The only reason that Helen Wood is on the list, upon the list of Big Brother winners, is because she was immune for an entire series. If Olivia wins, at the very least, we're all gonna start saying you cheated because you made her immune from nomination on the first week. It is wrong. And I'm sick and tired of seeing Miss Olivia getting treat after treat. Like, like last night, right, they come up with this great weekly task of this camping thing, which means we get to see them suffer. It's great. Yes, despite the common myth by Halle, you're not there for a positive experience. You're there for a character building exercise. You're there to suffer, to build your character so we can laugh at you and have a good time watching you suffer. That's what reality TV is. And that's the reality show you're on, Halle. You're not here for a good time. You might not be there for a long time. You're there for our personal enjoyment. You're all on this show because you're very dysfunctional people. But unfortunately, we are now in a situation where these housemates, some of them are playing a role. And a couple of them have, you know, decided to mimic the late, great Nikki Graham. I knew Nikki. Nikki was an amazing human being. Was she flawed? Absolutely. That was part of her charm. Hallie screaming at the camera, going in the diary room so she can get more and more screen time. Impersonating Nikki isn't a good thing, especially because dear Nikki is tragically no longer with us anymore. The same with Kerry, playing a role. And it's annoying seeing that mug of hers screaming with her eyes popping out of their sockets. I'm fed up of it. I don't care if you're hungry. I don't care if you fall that Big Brother is it some kind of Club 1830 holiday. It is not. And I forgot her name. The whole, you know, the whole, like, stop giving them treats. Stop giving them challenges, right? So Big Brother calls specific names out. They do a challenge to build a couple of tents in the mud, and then basically two of them, you know, get to be in this luxury campsite. Surprise, surprise. It's Paul and Olivia, because these producers would love nothing more than for us to have to suffer Paul and Olivia getting it on for the next five weeks. No, thank you. I wouldn't cry if Paul was gone. I wouldn't cry if Olivia was gone. Olivia should be gone, but she's still there. Anyway, we had this situation where the former Miss United Kingdom, right? I forgot her name was worried about taking the luxury perk because she was worried about what the public would think of her. She was being very, very transparent about that. And it was very unseemly, very difficult to watch. And she was putting on another performance. What is it, Trish? Was it Trish who was in the diary room? Prior to slating Kerry, because she obviously realises it's a popular thing to do with the public, she was bigging up Yimra. Because she knows Yim Run is an amazing young woman who's done so many things with her life. She starts telling us via the diary room what a lovely person she is. Yeah, we know. 
I'm starting to see a bunch of housemates very desperate and very nefarious. You are not a family. You are all there to win a hundred grand and stay on television for as long as possible.